so many cheers to everybody at Sawdust City. Hope everyone is doing okay with the current state of the world. The cat's doing fine. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is yet another Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks a bunch for joining me. For the beer of the today, we've got more beautiful beer by the beautiful brewery known as Sawdust City Brewing Company out of Gravenhurst, Ontario. This is a can of darkness on the edge of town. A black IPA coming in at 6.6% ABV? I think. Yes, it is. Look at me go. Um, yeah, uh, this is uh, from January 31st, and it's currently March 18th. So, not old, but not as fresh as it should have been. I forgot this was actually in my fridge, so good job on my part. Without further ado, we're cracking this open, and we're seeing what we've got. Salt City Beer, Black IPA... I got, I got the high hopes, the hopes be high. That's, that's some head right there. Um, that's, uh, that's not ideally how one pours a beer. Let's see if we got some light. I'm assuming black IPA, usually a little light. Yeah, little, little light getting through. Not so much at the top though. So, she's dark. She be dark. A couple fingers of really almost like shaving cream looking. Well, except for the color, but like the consistency of it. Really, really, really tightly packed. Nice, kind of, that's a deep, deep tan color head. Mostly juicy IPA aromas. With like a kind of lingering, stouty quality. Piney, resiny. Like chocolatey as well, roasty. It smells really, really, really nice. Let's give that a shot. Yeah. I haven't had a crap ton of black IPAs, but this is up there. If I could list them all, I could. I could go to my channel and find them all, but I'm not going to do that right now. That would involve way too much work. This is... This is fantastic. A whole lot of bitter smack in the face off the start, and then just balances out, transitions into this roasty, chocolatey, malty, lingering flavor. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and of course, of course, so many cheers to everybody at Sawdust City. Hope everyone is doing okay with the current state of the world. The cat's doing fine, but yeah, I know, I, mean, I know many breweries have very, very limited their current operations to like just uh, walking in, getting beer. All the tap rooms are basically closed everywhere. It's not brewing as much beer. I know Sawdust City has basically paused all brewing operations in the brewery for a couple weeks so they're unfortunately going to fall behind on their 52 pickup thing but they're looking out for their employees and their town so i have absolutely nothing negative to say about that so many cheers that is absolutely fantastic I've had a couple, uh, at least one by Big Rig. They make their release the hounds or the wolves or some stuff. And then they had a black sheep or something one a while ago, a while, a while ago, a while ago, a wabagoo, a dibadua. Um, yeah, you know what? Why the hell not? I have the ability to go Alt Tab, Control T, YouTube, and then it should load relatively. Yeah, see, it loads fast enough. And then uh, I should probably go to studio would be the best thing to do, right? Right? I think. Yeah, I think so. Because that way I can search in my studio. In my studio. For just black IPA. And we'll see how many I've had. And I'll be able to pretty much tell you, memory-wise, which one was my favorite of the previous ones I've had so far. 
14 have been had. Show them all, shall we? Big Water here in North Bay. They made a black IPA that I would... That, that, that'd be a tough call right there. That Lord Hobo Doom sauce that Chris sent me, that was amazing. Uh, Micro Brasserie something. I have no memory of that. Magnata. Doubly. That, was, that one wasn't great. Bell City something. Don't believe that was great. Kitchissippi. I don't remember that. Shillobrew. Shil what the hell is Shillobrew? My god, I've had too many beers. Um, Black Swan. Full beard. They made a pretty good one. Um, quit changing things. Uh, yeah, the Big Rig one, I believe that is Release the Hounds, was very much enjoyed. Um, something by Lake Wilcox was had at a festival. And then we get to the previous ones I had before my palate shifted. Black Rock from Stack tried to kill me. And Big Rig's Black Sheep tried to kill me. And the first one that ever tried to kill me was New Ontario's... What was it called? 433 Black IPA. That was an experience, having that one a while back. Yeah. I have very much come around to the flavor of black IPA. Don't you do it. Okay. Let's check this out, shall we? Let's look at this. Um, also, there should be a write-up, usually, because there isn't one on here. It's annoying. But if I go to Untapped and actually search the beer, because I failed to search it, why aren't you signed in? My computer updated and it's being a bitch. Making me reload everything and reopen everything instead of just remembering. What? You didn't enter the recaptcha? I'm not a robot, thank you. So dumb. So, it's so sad that that's the world we're in these days. It's like they have to prove you're not a freaking robot because so many people are just shysty dicks. Dicks, I say. Scammy bastards. Okay, the write-up on this says, This West Coast-style IPA is loaded with dank, spicy hops and combined with some big, bold, roasted character from the darker malts, making for a truly dark and moody IPA that lives up to its name. Ooh. Um, hops are Amarillo, Chinook, Simcoe, and Summit. Malts are Turo, Dark Munich, Midnight Wheat, Carafa 2, and Carafoam. East is California Ale. I've never heard of Midnight Wheat. But, yeah, people were talking about, I think, it might have been Dan, looking at this, thought it was an actual picture. This is not an actual picture, there's no way. Like, look, just look at, just looking at the, the hydro lines. And, like, that one looks kind of okay, but this one over here, that is not, no. The angles and stuff, this, this is a drawing. That is absolutely a drawing, but it's a very, very cool drawing i like that a lot the graininess of the the sky it looks awesome and it will be added to my wall of sawdust indeed and with that in mind recording time has hit nine minutes take a break Delicious beer. Warmed right up at this point. The hoppy flavors are mixing way more with the multi flavors now. Like when it's ice cold, it's way more on the IPA side of things with that lingering kind of stout finish. Once it warms up, the IPA kind of gives way more to the stout flavor. It's glorious. And... I think they still got some available. So actually, we can do that right now. Why not? SawdustCityBrewing.com will bring you to SawdustCityBrewing.com. And if you click on the online store, you can then find some fun beers. And if we just kind of scroll down, where is it there? 
right there. Three dollars and seventy-six cents a can. Weird price, but very reasonable price for something this tasty. For sure. I know a few of my beer tuber friends have made orders from Soda City as well, and I've seen a couple of their kind of opinions in chat form, and I'm not the only one who's a fan of the sawdust. I love it. Uh, untapped for this beer is a 3.75 out of 5 with 215 ratings overall. So, not that huge. And it's funny. It's not listed on untapped for whatever reason, but it's totally on the can. This is 55 IBUs. That's very unusual that that's not listed on untapped. Regardless, drink number the last. Sawdust City Brewing Company. Your Darkness on the Edge of Town Black IPA is, in my personal opinion, a 10. I can't, I can't fault it. That is one of, if not the best, Black IPA I've ever had in my life. And like I just said, if you can get some, minimum do minimum order of 100 bucks, not that hard to do. Like basically fill a 2-4, it'll probably hit 100 bucks. Free shipping, anywhere in Ontario. Delicious, weird but not bad, delicious. Haven't had it yet. I still need to drink that one. And that slow Pilsner thing was accidentally drank with no camera rolling. So it was pretty good though. With that in mind, if you've had this particular beer, let me know in the comments what you thought, because this video is done. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Sorry, distracting cat. And uh, bell notification, blah, 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 back with something like this tomorrow. Peace out! Not sure if the mic's picking it up, but... The curtain here, with the window behind it, Moo Cow is on the other side of the curtain. Gandalf's off, Gandalf is on this side. And Moo Cow is just behind there, just just growling. Just... Because she's a bit of a bitch.